Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Rosie. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use volatility to investigate registry artifacts present in a memory dump. We have an article in our library that highlights the significance of the Windows registry in digital forensic investigations. I encourage you to read that article before proceeding with this video. You can find the link to this article in the description box below. The Windows registry is made up of a number of Hive files. On a Windows computer, as applications are installed and being used, data in the registry undergoes modification. A complete copy or cached copy of registry files is always present in computer memory. Latest updates to the registry are present in computer memory before being written to disk. During a forensic investigation, a number of Windows registry artifacts can be found within the memory dump. In some cases, you may find artifacts that have not been written to disk yet. Now, I will demonstrate how you can acquire them using the volatility framework. We will start with analyzing a Windows 7 memory dump using Volatility 2. We will utilize the HiveList plugin to identify the list of registry hives present in memory. The first two columns denote the virtual and physical address of the registry hive within the memory dump. The next column denotes the absolute path of the registry hive on disk. Next. We will use the print key plugin to print registry subkeys and values within a specific registry key in memory. The key is specified using the key switch. Within this registry path, Microsoft Windows Current version Run we can find the list of applications that are configured to start whenever a user logs into the computer. This registry key is present within the local machine software hive. For every subkey, you can find the latest timestamp at which it was updated. Some malware samples modify this registry key so that malicious binaries are executed when a user logs in. During an investigation, have an eye out for recently modified registry keys in this path. All user account information is stored within the SAM registry hive, including user password hashes. This information is also present in memory. Within a memory dump, user password hashes can be retrieved using hash dump plugin. Here, you can observe the username, user ID, and two different hash values the lawnman hash and nt hash. The output of this command is useful when you suspect that backdoor user accounts have been set on a computer. You can utilize password cracking tools to retrieve the password in plain text. Here is an exercise for you. There is another plugin called LSA Dump. Research about what information this plugin can retrieve from memory. There is a registry key called user assist that contains information about the absolute path of an executable and the time it was last executed. The output of this plugin is useful when you suspect that malicious binaries have been executed on a computer. Do you know what Windows shell bags are? If not, go ahead and read this article in our library. You can find the link to it in the description box below. The shell bags plugin can be used to print shell bag keys in memory. Within a bag, a low value in the most recently used or MRU field indicates that this file or folder was used last. Here, within Windows Explorer, the library's window was visited, followed by my computer. As soon as my computer was visited, its MRU value was assigned as zero. The time at which this assignment occurred is stored as last updated time. Now we will investigate a Windows 10 memory dump using Volatility 3 for registry artifacts. The Windows.HiveList plugin can be used to print the list of registry hives in memory. First, you can find the offset at which this hive is present in memory, followed by the absolute path of this registry hive on disk. 
The value disabled in the file output field indicates that the contents of a hive have not been currently extracted. We can print the subkey value pairs of a particular registry key using the windows.registry.printkey plugin. The key option is used to specify a key name for which subkey value pairs would be printed. We can view the names of programs that start when a user logs into the computer. The timestamp in the last write time column indicates when an entry has been added to this list. The windows.registry.userassist plugin is used to display the user assist keys in the registry. Volatility 3 presents a detailed output than Volatility 2. The windows.hashdump plugin is used to display all the hashes of user accounts present within the memory dump. Here is a project idea for you. Perform the following tasks on a Windows virtual machine. Run an application like WordPad, Calculator, or execute a malware sample. Configure an application to start at system boot time. Modify or create a registry key value pair. Create a new user account and set a password for it. Once these tasks are performed, acquire a memory dump of the computer. Using Volatility 2 and 3, investigate registry artifacts within the memory dump. I am sure you will find some interesting artifacts. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!